Dr. Osterberg, tell us a little bit about, you know, people who wake up in the morning, um, tensions in their neck, in their shoulder, and uh, they start running around, and they had already, you know, explored 26 different billows, and um, all that stuff, and it just, you know, doesn't seem to go away. Some billows may be better than others, and they may be good as long as you sleep on it in a certain way, but the second you turn and toss, uh, you know, that bill kind of goes out the window and it, a certain thing doesn't work. Um, number one, is it really the bill or, you know, which, which causes that or is there actually an underlying fact? Because somebody has once told me, if you are rightly aligned and everything is correct, you can sleep on a stone, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 floor and you'll be okay. True? In theory, it is, but it doesn't always work out that way. You know, it's interesting. When I, when I, we've not go that far anyway, right? That's right. When I started out in practice, I was in my 20s, and I used to have patients come in and say, I don't know what I did. I just slept wrong, and I woke up with this problem. And I'd, I'd scratch my head and think, how can you sleep wrong? You lay down, you go to sleep, you wake up. What do you mean you slept wrong? But, you know, now that I'm approaching 40 years old, you start to understand how sometimes you can sleep wrong, and that's enough to, to cause problems. Um, really, when it comes to pillows, I'm not sure what to tell you. In theory, laying on a contour pillow on your back is the best thing that you can do because it gives support for the neck, it keeps everything in a line, it keeps you nice and even, but most people don't sleep on their back. Most people are side sleepers, and over 90% of side sleepers, if, if they're married or share their bed with a spouse, they lie on the side facing away from their spouse. And getting them to change that sleeping position is virtually impossible without switching sides of the bed with your partner. So certainly we have to address this with some patients that, that sleeping seems to be the number one condition that's aggravating their, their neck. And we see it with neck pain problems and shoulder pain problems and headache patients. And sometimes we need to get them to, to switch sides of the bed and try that. Because if they're laying you know, with their head tipped to one side and their neck twisted and they're doing that for six or seven or eight or nine hours a night, the problem is going to keep coming back and they need to make some changes in that part of their lifestyle. So, yes, in theory, if I could get everybody to, get to buy an orthopedic pillow and to lay on their back, that would be wonderful, but that's almost like asking right-handed people to become left-handed. As soon as you go to sleep, you go back to whatever position you're used to. And it's, it, it can be a challenge in a lot of cases. It really can. Okay. I see. So, um... So switching the bed side uh, is actually not a bad idea, I think, because you 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 then forced to sleep. And I, I you know, I'm, I'm getting the picture in my head uh, uh, when sometimes my wife and me do that for whatever reason. Uh, it is true, you're then uh, sleeping on your side, but on the opposite side. So I guess if uh, almost everybody does, all if, across the board, almost everybody does. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm well, all right. Good. So um, an orthopedic pillow is a good thing if you manage to um, do, do sleep on your back. Which, which Is it true that sleeping on your back is, period, the most healthy sleeping position you could have? It's the most neutral position. You're not putting any bending in the spine. See, when we sleep on our side, it's not that side lying is so bad, but most people who sleep on their side, they tuck their chin down to their chest. And having your head in that, in that bent forward position for long periods isn't necessarily good if you have neck problems. That's the, that's my biggest concern with, with people who sleep on their side. It's not so much laying on the side, it's that they're, they always lay on their side and tuck their chin down. So if they can manage to lay on their side and keep their, keep their chin up and keep their head elevated, it's really not that bad. And I would recommend that they try to switch back and forth from right side sleeping to left side sleeping so there's some variety. They just don't fall in the same pattern for long periods of time over and over. Right, right. Well, the same pattern as you mentioned it before in another video, repetitive, uh, uh, repetitive work, repetitive thing. Even though it's, I mean, after all, we get carp and tunnel symptom from uh, working on the computer and it doesn't yep, exactly over and look over. It doesn't look like something which strains us, but a few years later, next thing you know, is uh, some of the muscles are always used, I guess, and uh, that's what happens. Our body can adapt to some amazing things, but it's really not designed to do the same thing over and over for 40 or 50 or 60 hours a week. You know, if, if you look back, you know, thousand years we were hunters and gatherers and farmers and and we're out moving all the time we don't stand in one spot and do the same things 
over again and again. And it's it's really tough on us. That's a lot of the problems that we see in our office. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can see that. And we do, uh, you know, kind of like, unfortunately, at the other hand, we did become a a society where that is what we do. I mean, Mr. Ford invented the converter belt, and, uh, right. you know, the, and, and everybody's standing there just putting in that one screw over and over again, and the motion is the same for years and years, literally, you know? Right. We specialize, and then we get repetitive use injuries. That's why even in the exercise and the workouts, I recommend that people change their workouts frequently, you know, from, from day to day. If you work out three days a week, you shouldn't do the same workout every day. You should have a lot of variation in your lifestyle like that. Mm, is that maybe why you see some, um, you know, high-powered sports people, the ones who go and, and win medals, they always will have one or two other sports that really got them good at it. They may not be champions in that one, but they're good at it and they do it so that they even out. Is, 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 is that kind of what it is? It's quite possible that they do another sport in their off season, or it could be that people who win gold medals are just naturally gifted and they're going to be good at anything that they do. Mm. There are some people that are fortunate like that. Mm. Well, my point was to so that they kind of like they they even out another sport. They might might not be yes. good at it, but uh, but they 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 do other sports in order to not to have because even if you know you're a skier and if you only train the ski muscles all day long, I guess you're gonna get into that very same problem uh, than a guy working on the computer or working on a machine slightly bent forward eight eight hours right. a day a whole life. You know, all uh, right. Too much of anything is not a good thing. Too much of anything is not a good thing. Do everything in moderation, even moderation, right? That's right. I use that as an excuse whenever I screw up. Thanks.